Hi there, my name is Ken Sanders of Ken Sanders Rare Books in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're happy to be a part of uh, Bookstock. Thanks, Driftless Eddie, for the invitation. Um, I've been selling books for a very, very long time. I had a mail order business back in high school. Uh, by the 1970s, I co founded my first store, an old 60s hippie head shop called the Cosmic Airplane, and we created a bookstore out of that. Uh, it was a very legendary store here in Salt Lake City for uh, people of my generation. Uh, in 1980, I founded a small publishing company, Dream Garden Press, and uh, almost a quarter of a century ago, I opened Ken Sanders Rare Books here in downtown Salt Lake City and despite earthquakes and its aftershocks and the entire corona COVID-19 pandemic we're still here although we currently aren't open and don't have any customers as they paraphrased about the late Hunter S. Thompson it's been a long strange trip and another great Raoul Duke quotation is when the going gets weird the weird turn pro. Over the years with Dream Garden Press I've published a whole bunch of books. I did a whole bunch of calendars. I commissioned the underground cartoonist Robert Crumb to illustrate Edward Abbey's classic novel The Monkey Wrench Gang. Uh, also in 1987, so about every 13 years, the 1987 Monkey Wrench Gang calendar comes back the, the, the stars align, the dates match up, leap year included, and you can use it again. I've always had a passion for poetry, and over the years, uh, one of our late Utah po Poet Laureates, Ken Brewer, great teacher at Utah State University up north, published his last volume of poems called Whale Song, A Poet's Journey into Cancer. A uh, local sonosopher, not poet, he's about the sound of language. Alex Caldiero, Poetry is Wanted Here. So many authors I've been privileged to, to know well over the years. It's true of musicians too. And uh, even though Bruce Phillips, I, AKA U, Utah Phillips, the golden voice of the great Southwest, uh, he and I always talked about republishing his old 70s songbooks. Duncan Phillips and I through uh, my publishing company, Dream Garden Press, published this lovely songbook with all the musical notation uh, for many, many of his great songs, which leads me to another publication I'm very, very proud of and who our musical guest is for, for uh, Bookstock, Kate McLeod. This is a songbook, again, with all the musical annotations, the lyrics of 52 of her songs, including a whole bunch of songs that Kate has written and sung over the years that are based on books. She'll tell you more about that. We've always hosted literary author events, hundreds and hundreds of events, from famous people to people that you don't know at all. And it doesn't matter. It's about the quality of what they do. We believe in words here. We're going to continue to believe in words. I don't believe any of us knows what's going to come out of this, this pandemic that is going around the globe. But we've got to be creative. We're going to have to be smart. And there's so many ways that we need to change. Because boys and girls, Mother Earth is pissed. And she's pissed at us. So maybe we should take a lesson from her and Greta Thunberg and Tim De Christopher and Wendell Berry. Maybe it's about time we start to listen to these people. So I'm going to do something that I just did. Uh, a week ago for the very first time in my life. Uh, I, I don't write, a, I write all the time. Uh, I don't write a lot of poetry, but I wrote a poem and I recited it live on a, a radio show without the aforementioned uh, Alex Caldiero about a week ago. I love to do readings. I, I almost always choose other people's stuff, but tonight, today, this morning, whatever time of day you might be watching this, I didn't, I didn't ever green this episode, did I? It's called The Great Pandemonium, a fairy tale for 2020. Chicken Little was right, after all. The sky did fall, the sea did rise, the earth went fallow. 
the three little pigs, old Mother Hubbard, the Little Red Riding Hood, were all evicted. Jack Spratt and his wife, and both big bad wolves, they all lost their jobs, starved to death. The Sleeping Beauty and Snow White never woke up this time. Cinderella is still dreaming. And just when we needed them the most, turns out both Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox never existed in the first place. The end. Really, I mean the end. Hi, I'm Kate McLeod, and I'm here at Ken Sanders Rare Books in Salt Lake City, where I recorded this recording a collection of songs inspired by books, and this was published in 2014. So I'm going to sing a song off of this. I'm going to sing my song called Blue Highways. Blue Highways was written by William Least Heat Moon. That's his pen name and he lives in Missouri and I actually got to meet him because I've actually written two songs inspired by his book. The other one is Prairie Earth. But here we go with Blue Highways. Cloud and uh, here at Ken Sanders Ear Books, and I'm going to sing a song from my at Ken Sanders Ear Books CD. And this song is about this wonderful memoir by Teresa Jordan, who is an author and an artist, 
This book is called Riding the White Horse Home. It's about growing up on a ranch in Wyoming. This story is trying to make me cry Or is this the Shunnock wind in my eye? Was it the father's fighting songs? The Iron Mountain mortgage Or the passing on that one? All the people buried there their silver spurs were always passed down to someone. They fixed the old corral. They saved the orphan calf. They built the hall where we had fun. We knew the land so well. We knew each other well. I dream of riding my white horse While nothing would keep fate From taking the ranch away Oh well, the ladies moved away The local store and the station They burned down My daddy broke another leg I had my graduation day Yet only the Hogback Hills will stay here A drifting soul I did become Till I wrote down the memories of my loved ones Now my new love, he's sure the one He knows where I come from And we ride horses when we're near some We knew the land so well We knew each other well I dream of riding my white horse While nothing would keep fate From taking the ranch away And I remember baking my mom and the little stone under my tongue how they kept thirst away when I was young and now I love the life I have and I have plenty of days to face but I sure miss the old home place we knew the late side we knew each other well I dream of riding my white horse While nothing would keep fate From taking the ranch away This song is called Anamkara. This is uh, based on the book by John O'Donoghue of the same title. In searching the infinity of our interiority, a wholesome complexity is found. In satisfying our hungry 
transparency Imagination befriends our unbound In nurturing the honesty Of our neglected beauty Icons and imagery unfold And though you can't go back You clutch confessions of a traveler While watching from the edges of your soul While harvesting our abandonment The tenderness that sorrow that transfigures into whim If once we were taught to embrace The generous light from space Why do we struggle now with within? Our invisible and exiled reach Our hidden self will linger in The presence has the texture of the soul In the innocence of dawn Do you ask what is behind before? Why, what is it you're waiting for? Why look for love when it is yours? Beyond the inner fences and the landscape of our senses, the soul knows the way for the ongoing process of the heart that grows supported by the secret gathering of days for the anankara and the heart that knows supported by gathering ways with the love of the anankara Corona, Corona, hey, where you've been? Corona, Corona, I've seen where you've been and gone. So don't come knocking at my door, don't you dare. I've got a mask of cotton I've got a mask of gold I've got a mask of cotton I've got a mask of gold You've got me waiting in line for my food In the wind
Corona, Corona, seems like you're always on my mind. You're in my work, in my dreams, and on my news. When you're gonna say goodbye? You're in my work, in my dreams, and in my news. When you're gonna say goodbye?